Hello, today we are going to discuss about a real analysis book named Introduction to Real Analysis by Bartley Sharper. This book is published by uh, Willy many years ago and its fast illustration and user friendly approach make all the editions of this book very popular and till date it is one of the most important and well received real analysis book. The study of real analysis is indispensable for a prospective graduate student of pure and applied mathematics. It also has great value for all students who wishes to go beyond the routine manipulation of formulas because it develops the ability to think deductively, analyze mathematical situations and extend ideas to new contexts. Nowadays, mathematics has a vast applications in different topics like economics, management science, physical science, engineering, computer science, and also in statistics. This book was written to provide an accessible, reasonably paced treatment of the basic concepts and techniques of real analysis for students in these areas. While students will find the book challenging, experience has demonstrated that serious students are fully capable of material fully capable of mastering the materials. Like any other real analysis book, this book also starts with the fundamental topics like sets, functions, mathematical induction, finite and infinite sets. These topics are the base uh, for your further uh, study in real analysis. After that, the next chapter in this book is the real numbers, which is also very important. Each and every chapter is self-important and has its own weight. In real numbers, the chapters start with algebraic and order properties of a real number, then the absolute value and real line, and the most importantly, it covers the completeness property of a real number. In this portion, the most important, one of the most important thing is suprema and infima. All these definitions are very much important, like bounded above, bounded below, bounded and unbounded sets, etc. All the formal definitions are given with examples in this pictorial representation, as we can see. This is the definition of least upper bound or supremum. And we also have the definition of infimum, that is the greatest lower bound. Okay. All the chapters in this book are in the same organized format. It starts with the definitions that it discusses important theorems, then apply those theorems in lemmas and corollary, and followed by some uh, followed by several important examples. Each and every section has its own exercise. All the exercises have numerous uh, numerical problems and the hints are given in the back side of the book for uh, some selected problems. The next section is application of the supremum property. It is also very important. It is an application based portion of the supremum property with examples we, as we can see and it is the most important thing the Archimedean property is had it has its own applications also we are given the proof and all the proofs are based on sets uh, unlike the book like Rudin uh, where the proofs are uh, given on the basis of uh, basis of metric spaces in this book we do not have the proof based on metric spaces all the proofs are based on sets This is also a particular proof which is very much important and this type of proofs clear all your uh, basic concepts in real analysis. So you must read 
all these things to get a vast insight. Now let's come to the chapter three, which is sequence and series. Sequence and series, I think this chapter has the most uh, weight in V analysis. It is very much important uh, as a concept and it is also very much important as a chapter uh, for your undergraduate or even in postgraduate courses and also in different competitive examinations like JAM and ISI examinations. In this chapter, uh, we start uh, the book started with sequence and their limits, then followed by limit theorems, monoton sequence, subsequences, and most importantly, Paulson Wittress theorem. Okay. Here we are given definitions of subsequence with formal examples. As we know that this book has this type of organized format, definitions, examples, theorems, and so on. Divergence criteria of real numbers with examples. Existence of monotone subsequences. And similar topics are there in this chapter. The next important thing is the Cauchy criteria. Cauchy criteria has several exam several applications, and there are different problem comes in competitive examination on this topic. Definition of Cauchy criteria, examples on Cauchy sequences. <laughs> Cauchy's convergence criteria with its proof. Okay. Now, the next pro important topic is properly divergent sequences. Properly divergent sequences has several theorems and examples. with exercises and the hints are given uh, in the back side of this book. The next important thing is introduction to infinite series. Infinite series is very much important. This is a sub portion in the chapter three. The examples are self explanatory. So if you try to understand, then you can understand the examples. Okay. There is also a Cauchy criteria for series. Here we are given the comparison test. This is very much important to understand the convergence and divergence of series. We have also a limit comparison test, which has also the same application. Now let's jump to the next topic, which is limits. Limit has three portions, a limit of functions, limit theorems, and some existence and some extensions on limit concepts. You need to know each and every theorem in this chapter. All, are the, all the theorems are very much important. One of the important theorem is quiz theorem. Uh, we see several problems on this quiz theorem and it is very much important for jam also. And let's come to the chapter five, continuous function. This is the most important thing I think this chapter is very much fundamental, it has very much fundamental concepts in real analysis and I, it is the most important chapter in real analysis and I am very fond of this chapter. In this chapter, we have continuous functions, combination and continuous functions, continuous function on interval, uniform continuity, continuity and gauges, monotone and inverse functions and 
several other things. The next important topic is differentiation. Differentiation as we know it is a very important concept and the derivative, the mean value theorem, you should know about these concepts. If you want a, a fast mathematical insight uh, for different applications. The L. Hopital rule Taylor theorem is also uh, very important. We, we uh, already know about L. Hopital rule and Taylor theorem but in this book uh, we came to know, we come, we will come to know about the background of these rules, background of this theorem and the vast mathematical insights uh, at the back of this theorem. Now come to the next chapter, the Riemann integral. The Riemann integral is a new topic. We already know about integral but we do not know about Riemann integral. Uh, the Riemann integral is such a topic which gives you some insights about your past experience on inti in, uh, inti uh, integrals okay. or integration as a whole. So in this chapter, we came to know about the Riemann integral, the definition and several theorems like Riemann integrable functions, fundamental theorems and approximate integration. Most of the colleges in India uh, has real analysis in their undergraduate courses and also in post-graduation courses. So in undergraduation and post-graduation course, you come to know about these chapters in your class lectures and I think they also prefer this book. Uh, there are also several other books but I think this book has the uh, most uh, well-defined and student-friendly approaches of real analysis. Now, the next, uh, the topic next to remain integral is sequence and sequences of functions. In this chapter, we came to know about the very important thing, which is point-wise and uniform convergence. Now let's come to the ninth chapter that is infinite series. In this chapter, we are given absolute convergence of infinite series and some tests for absolute and non-absolute convergence of infinite series. We also have series of functions. And lastly, we are given the generalized Riemann integral. After that, the claims in topology is given at the last of the book but most of the books have uh, introduced with this chapter because like in books like Rudin uh, they, they discuss all the concepts with metric spaces but in this book uh, the concepts are defined with sets so, uh, so Bartley Sherbert discusses about metric spaces, compact sets, continuous functions open and close sets in real number at in the last of the book okay so that's all thank you very much